What's going on guys, Mikkel here, and in this video we are getting into XRP news, along with some technical analysis towards the end of the video. Guys, if you don't think much is going on with XRP right now, make sure you stick around for this video because it's going to blow your mind. I'm going to cover a bunch of stuff that you're not seeing making big headlines, but it's super interesting stuff happening behind the scenes. I'm even going to get into an event tomorrow taking place that's featuring Jay Clayton, Gary Gensler, and a prominent member of the XRP army. If you want to hear more about that, make sure you stick around for this whole video. Guys, if you're new to this channel or come here all the time, make sure you like this video down below and subscribe to my channel. It's going to help me out so much in the YouTube algorithm and help more people like you see this video. Anyway, guys, with that said, let's jump right into it and I hope you enjoy the content. Alrighty guys, let's jump right into it with a tweet from Minus Wells, and he says, on November 27th, there were 5,500 new XRP accounts created, along with 564,000 trust lines. These trust lines lock, locked over a million XRP out of the circulating supply. At this rate, every year, 0.66% of the circulating supply will be locked up, but this rate will increase massively. Guys, this is really cool because this is a form of XRP demand that will not go away and is one that not a lot of people considered. 0.66% of the circulating supply is absolutely insane. We know that XRP is already deflationary from the fees that are burned, but now we also have these trust lines being created that lock XRP up on the ledger. This is huge because this actually makes the circulating supply decrease over time and makes the XRP me and you hold more valuable as time goes on. This is something that's not going to stop and is only going to increase so we can see this having massive deflationary pressure on the price of XRP over time. I thought this was super cool because I've never seen anyone bring this up and I actually think it could have a very significant effect on the price, especially when the XRP ledger is utilized more and more and has more utility in the real world. The next thing I want to bring to you actually blew my mind. This was insane and this is actually a video from the IRS stating that everything Ripple done, has done and XRP has been perfectly legal and in line with what companies should expect and a way companies should follow to create a healthy ecosystem within a cryptocurrency. I'm going to play this for you guys and you guys are going to hear this and just think to yourself, wait, why is Ripple and XRP getting sued again? And let me say this again. This is the IRS. So the fact that Gary Gensler and the SEC are coming out here and saying everything Ripple's done is illegal and they should have known since day one, well, it seems like you're the only agency who's ever had a problem with it, which I think is pretty crazy. Listen to this. Using them as a form of payment, it also works in other scenarios as well, and I think Ripple is a great example. So let's take a look at Ripple's price as well. You can see the increase and decrease uh, in value. And again, it followed kind of the same model as the rest of the community with uh, the virtual currency price fluctuations. Now we're going to talk about Monero. Oh yeah, go ahead. I'm just going to object. So this is all legal. I, I mean, I can, I can trade in and out of this as I want, just like a particular stock if I want. Yeah, there's nothing inherently illegal about owning or transacting in virtual currency. The only legal or illegal component of it is the the mode and intent behind it. If you're using it to conduct an illegal transaction, or if you're using illegal money to attempt to conceal it, but merely using the currency itself, virtual currency, the fact of it doesn't mean it's illegal. I would kind of like to use the example that you know currency is used to buy and sell drugs, cash. Yeah. Yeah. No. All right. So then he goes on to say, just because you hold XR, I mean, just because you hold currency, doesn't mean you're going to go buy and sell drugs. Same thing is for crypto. But I think it's really important that he says right in the beginning of the video that what Ripple is doing is using these digital assets for a purpose. They're using them like currencies. And this just shows, and he says, holding XRP and X Ripple doing what they've done with XRP is no way illegal. And I think that's super important because we've now seen the CFTC, the 
um, the IRS now. We've seen different banking committees. We've seen FinCEN all go out of their way. And even two out of the five commissioners at the SEC and former officials at the SEC all stating that XRP is a currency and not a security and nothing Ripple has done has been illegal. Yet it seems like two people at the SEC, Jay Clayton and Jay Clayton and uh, Gary Gensler are now turning the entire SEC against Ripple solely on their own beliefs and not the beliefs of everyone else. I think this is pretty crazy and really just shows how weak their lawsuit against Ripple really is. The next thing I want to show you, I, 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 I don't even know if we're all in a show at this point. This blows my mind. Charles Gasparino tweets out, my sources tell me that there's a prominent member of the XRP community that will be showing up to the Gary Gensler and Jay Clayton fireside chat tomorrow. Should be interesting. I can't even believe they're letting this happen. Like, for, I was shocked enough that Jay Clayton and Gary Gensler were going to be on stage talking to each other. But if they're going to be answering questions from the XRP community, this is absolutely wild. You know they're going to try to deny everything and not answer it. But something super interesting could come out of this. This is going to be something that I will report on after it happens. But something you guys should definitely try to get into and check out. Because who knows what's going to happen here. I thought it was super interesting that he said prominent member of the XRP community. I know Eleanor Terrot is going there too. She works with Charles Gasparino. I like her a lot. I hope it's not her. I actually tweeted out, I hope it's digital asset buy. I would love to see him stand up there and he has such a prominent face. Just be like, so Gary Gensler and then just watch their faces drop and be like, oh, it's this guy. I think that'd be pretty hilarious. Something tells me they won't go within uh, probably a hundred yards of him. Anyway, let's see who it is. I have a feeling this could be crazy. If, if they can't dodge every single question, and hopefully they'll get held down to something, this could be hilarious. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. Here's another pretty funny thing. If you think Congress isn't watching this lawsuit right now, you're completely wrong. Charles Gasparino tweets that a Fox Business investigation into the biggest issue in crypto today, SEC, Gov versus Ripple, blah, 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 blah. Warren Davidson, a congressman, says, this could have been resolved and prevented by passing my bipartisan token taxonomy act so that the investors, innovators, and regulators have a bright line standard defining what is and what is not a security. Everyone knows that there's no clear rules. The SEC tried to create regulation by suing Ripple and take control of the market or give up control of the market. Who knows? Their, SEC, their lawsuit was pretty poor. It makes me think that this was all a ploy to create clarity in the market. But who knows? If they're actually that dumb and this was a power grab, it's clearly gone very badly. But either way, what this shows is people in Congress know there's no clarity. The SEC knows there's no clarity. Everyone knows there's no clarity. No matter what they say to your faces, there are things going behind the scene to create clarity in this market because it's going to be the future of the financial system. They need to create clarity or else all this innovation is going to go somewhere else. The U.S. won't let that happen. They clearly are trying to do this. It's going very slow, slower than a lot of us expect. But you have to understand we are the minority here. Not a lot of people understand cryptocurrency. We just understand it really well. So that's why it seems like all of this is taking forever. The, the vast majority of people are just starting to understand this. And that's really to our benefit because we're going to be there to make a lot of the gains while everyone else buys our bags. The last thing I want to get into before we get into the charts is just top 10 coins, excluding stable coins, day since all time high. We can see that every single one has made an all time high very recently. And there's XRP with a 1,426 days. Guys, I own a lot of different crypto. I don't talk about it on this channel because it, I just think you need to be buying XRP right now if you're buying any crypto. I'm not buying Ethereum that's 10x right now. I was buying Ethereum last year. Oh boy, what did I do? I'm not buying Bitcoin right now. I was buying Bitcoin last year. I bought, I'm buying XRP right now because it is fundamentally undervalued in this market and also has the best tech by a mile. That's the reason why I think this right here is why you can buy whatever digital assets you want right now. You can average into whatever you want. But I think if you don't own any XRP and you're not averaging into that, you are making a mistake. With that said, let's jump right into the charts to see what's going on right now. 
Super interesting. We can see that we've been watching XRP move back into the symmetrical triangle over the last couple of days. It looked like we were going to have a breakout back here and everything. We were going to explode to the upside. And in classic XRP fashion, we fell all the way down. I saw a pretty funny tweet from someone saying, X Ripple could announce a settlement tomorrow and XRP is the world reserve currency and XRP would be trading at 17 cents. I thought that, that was pretty hilarious because that's kind of how it feels sometimes. But I, I think in the long run, we're going to see XRP vastly outperform what anyone expects. I think $10 is like programmed into what XRP will do at this point. I think anything past it is almost a given. Well, it's going to be very interesting to see where this ends up. But we can see, I've been calling that if XRP falls out of the symmetrical triangle, it will move into it very quickly. I thought it would get back into it and all it needed was some relief from the rest of the market. We we can see that it actually tried very hard to make a push back into it kind of rejected off of it so let's see what happens over the next day or two see if we can push back into the symmetrical triangle i thought i i think it will be able to get there it would be extremely bullish if we just flip this now resistance back as support move back into the symmetrical triangle and i think that would pretty put us in a pretty safe zone for the next couple of coming weeks we know we are coming to the end of the symmetrical triangle and xrp is going to make a massive move when it breaks out of here for now we're just going to be watching the short term see if we can get back in here and once we're there we'll really focus on what has to come next thank you guys so much for coming i hope you enjoyed this update there's tomorrow is going to be a pretty crazy day we'll see what happens maybe if you can sneak in a question on that uh conference that'd be pretty crazy i don't know if it's in person or digital but should be interesting if you guys aren't following on me on twitter make sure you do that like the video down below subscribe to my channel and for now mickle out